Yeah. Uh, hello. Today we shall see how to create a device on IBM Watson IoT platform. Okay. So, uh, how to create a device on uh, IBM IoT Watson platform? Okay. So first we need to create this uh, IBM IoT Watson platform. Okay. So to create the service, so after logging into your IBM Cloud account, just click on this catalog. So in catalog in the left menu, uh, just click on services. So in services, search for uh, Internet of Things. Just uh, sorry, just click on Internet of Things. So you will find this Internet of Things platform. Okay. So just click on Internet of Things platform. So here uh, it will ask ask us for to select a region and uh, then we need to create a service okay so if you want you can uh, choose a different region like Dallas and then so it depends upon you okay so i'm just keeping it as default and i'm just clicking on this uh, create device okay and also one more thing you can uh, change a service name also for this uh, ibm iot bats and platform okay so here i've got a, a default by default i've got a name that is internet of things platform iphone 78 so if you want you can change name also but now i'm uh, keeping it as default and just clicking on this create so it will create this ibm iot batson platform so uh so i've created that so the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to launch this ibm uh, what's an IoT platform okay so here you will find some more things like uh, some service credentials when you want to integrate uh, this ibm iot platform with other services right so these are some of the things okay so let me launch this now okay so here you will find this launch button okay so just click on this launch button and it will be redirected to a new uh, tab. Okay, so if you see here, that is IBM Watson IoT platform. Okay, so here we can uh, create our devices and we can uh, integrate with other platforms. Okay, so uh, here we have different things here. So here in IBM Watson IoT platform, we have boards, devices, members, apps, access management, usage, security settings. Okay, so uh, each uh, like uh, here. Uh, each thing is for particular purpose okay so now we shall see about devices and uh, in apps so why we are going to use these two things okay so first uh, let us create a device okay so how to create a device in ibm iot platform okay so here you have a option called add device else uh, if you have created a new uh, service that is ibm watson iot new service then you will find here directly that is a creator device okay else uh, suppose you, if you have created some devices then you will not find this option okay so then you can use this app device okay so you can uh, uh, click on any of these things okay so let me click on this app device yeah, uh, here you can see so here uh, you can see that uh, add device uh, tab has been open okay so here you have two things so in the first step uh, here in the first step so it is asking for us to give a device type and device id so here device type is nothing but a device name okay so you can uh, give a device name of your choice so here i'm just uh, giving my device name as new okay and one more thing uh, here we have a, a different thing called device id okay so device id is nothing but a, uh, it is just a kind of a unique number okay uh, unique id here you can see right so device a unique id okay so here you can uh, give a numerical id okay so i am just giving uh, 1 2 3 4 5 okay so i am just giving a numerical id that is unique id 1 2 3 4 5 okay so for every device uh, so here in ibm watson iot platform so this device id changes okay so it must be unique okay so for every device so our device type may be uh, same but device id must be unique okay so so after giving this device type and device id just click on next okay and here in the second step so here uh, we have this device information okay so device information is nothing but so if you are integrating, like uh, if you want to integrate it with some hardware devices, like uh, suppose uh, uh, 
that is Arduino, Raspberry Pi, uh, some other microcontrollers or microprocessors. Then uh, there you have some serial number, model, description to uh, that hardware devices, right? So uh, in such cases, you can give those things here. Okay, so now I'm not using any hardware devices in uh, here. Okay, so I'm just skipping this. So just click on next. Uh, so this is the main step. So uh, this is the main thing. So here uh, uh, you need to give, uh, you need to create some authentication token. So what is this authentication token? So authentication token is nothing but just to give some access to your created device. Okay, so uh, you are uh, like here we are creating a new device, right? So to give access to this created device, so we must have some authentication token. Okay, so authentication token, uh, it can be auto generated. So if you uh, directly click on next, so our authentication token will be generated automatically. Okay, so uh, else you can uh, create your own authentication token. Okay, but uh, you must be careful while creating your authentication token. Okay, so it must be between eight to 36 characters. Okay, if you see here, it must be uh, between eight to 36 characters and it can uh, contain a mix of lower cast, uh, lower case, upper case letters, numbers and symbols. Okay, so I'm just creating a simple authentication token here. So if you observe here, I've just given a simple authentication token uh, that is in the numerical format, one to eight. Okay, and after giving that authentication token, just click on next. Okay, so here uh, uh, it is giving the final summary about our device. Okay, so if you are done with that, just click on finish. Okay, so here we have created a device. Okay, so in IBM, uh, what's an IoT platform, we have created a device. Okay, so here if you observe here, so after creating the device, we got some things right that is device credentials. Okay, so these are the important things guys. Okay, so once you have created a device, so these things will be appeared. Okay, so uh, also below you can see a warning. So authentication tokens are non recoverable. Okay, so if you miss this again, you need to delete this uh, device, then again, you must create a new device. Okay, so to avoid such uh, thing, so what you need to do is just copy these things. Okay, just copy these things and uh, uh, paste it in some notepad. Okay, so I'll just copy these things and I'll paste it in a notepad. Okay. So let me, uh, so if you observe here, so I have copied all those things and I have pasted in a notepad. Okay. So uh, I'm done with this. Okay. So I'm done with this. So that is uh, uh, creating a device and uh, uh, copying those uh, device credentials and keeping them safely. Okay. The next thing, the next thing here uh, we're going to see is, uh, so we need some things to uh, connect this uh, device that is whatever device we have created here so this device uh, if we want to connect this device to another platform then we must have some uh, api keys and authentication token okay so first let us see this uh, let us create these things and let us keep them uh, safely okay so let me create that so to create api keys and authentication token so here in the left menu okay you will find this apps okay just click on the tabs Okay. Just click on the tabs and uh, here you will find this generate API key. Okay, so uh, just click on that generate API key. Okay, so you can give some uh, description here else you can uh, just click on next. Okay, so uh, suppose if you want to give some expiry date to your API key, uh, then you can uh, just uh, enable that and you can choose a, the date. Okay, so I'm not uh, using that. So I don't want any expiry date from my API key. Okay, just click on next. And uh, here, uh, so for which purpose you are using this API key? Okay, so it will ask you for that role. Okay, so from this drop down list, just select standard application. Okay, so here uh, in this role, just select standard application and click on generate API key. Okay, so if you observe here, so we have uh, got API keys and authentication token, right? So again, the same things here. So once the authentication token is generated, so uh, 
we need to keep them safely okay so uh, if we haven't copied them we cannot uh, recover them okay so we cannot recover so uh, what we need to do is we need to keep them safely in the notepad okay so what i'll do is i'll uh, just copy them and i'll keep them safely okay so i'll just open my uh, notepad okay so i'll just copy these two things api key and authentication token okay so let me copy and paste these two things and uh let me put right so here you can see so this is my uh, api key okay so if i want my authentication token you can see so uh, it will not uh, it will not uh, give you that authentication token right so that is what i've told you to uh, keep it uh, safely okay so uh, the next thing so after the thing so we have an another thing called internal simulator that is device simulator so what is the purpose of this device simulator see so uh, so if you are dealing with the real time hardware uh, thing so what we are doing there so we are connecting some sensors to that hardware device and we are sending that data right to this ibm iot platform but uh, as we are not uh, dealing with this hardware part so what we have is we have a internal simulator okay so how to use this internal simulator okay so here uh, just enable this device simulator and when you enable this device simulator you will find the zero simulations running below okay so just click on the zero simulations running okay so a small window uh, will be pop up okay so here we need to select a device type and we need to configure the event and payload and then we need to add the devices to which device we need to send that okay so just click on this create simulation okay so you need to select the device type so as i have only one device so i'm just selecting that okay so after selecting that uh, so it will ask uh, it will ask you to give a even type okay that is even name okay so i'm just keeping it uh, as default that is uh, the default even type name else you can change the uh, even name okay and uh, uh, if you observe here we have a schedule okay so for, uh, so what this does is so for every 20 minutes so it will send this data okay so what i'll do is i'll change this so i'll just keep it to one so for every one minute so for every one minute so this data will be updated okay so here this is our actual payload okay so from here so we are sending the actual payload okay so let me uh, change this as data okay so this is in the form of just like a dictionary type okay so this is a key id and this is a value so we will get a random value from 0 to 100 okay so if you observe here so this is data and uh, this is the random value okay so after giving the payload just click on save okay so here you will have this uh, save just click on save okay uh, then it will ask you to select the device so to which device you want to send this data okay so if you want to create a new device again you can create a new device uh, i have already uh, created a device right so i'll use that device so here you have this use registered device just click on that and uh, from this drop down list you need to uh, select the device uh, id okay so i have this device just click on that okay and if you observe here so it is saying that one of 50 simulations are running okay so just click on this uh, down arrow okay and uh, just click on this uh, device okay just click on this device okay and uh, here you can see some information about your created device okay so device id device type okay and device information so if you have uh, given some uh, hardware information about the device so you can observe here and in the recent event so you will be getting the data okay so for every one minute like uh, uh, with the time uh, interval of uh, one minute so you will uh, get the data here okay so here you will get the even name uh, here you will get the value that is nothing but value is nothing but the payload and here you will get the format okay so uh, here uh, we are uh, getting the format as json because so we are sending the data in the form of json right so here you can see so that is event data is uh, random value right so i have told you right so we will get the uh, data as uh, uh, random value between 0 to 100 right 
So this is the key ID that is the data key ID and this is the value and we are getting the data in the form of JSON. Okay, and uh, we have received this data some few seconds ago, right? And if you wait for another one minute, so we will get the uh, other, other data that is the other random value between uh, zero to hundred. Okay, so let us see that. Okay, so uh, so these are uh, things like how to create a device in IBM Watch and IoT platform, uh, then how to create the API keys, uh, then how to use the internal device simulator to send data to the creator device. Okay, yeah. So we have got the another data. So if you observe here, so this uh, the event type is event uh, value that is payload as data, and we have got a random value again, right? So a few seconds ago, and this was a minute ago, right? So uh, that's it, guys. So this is how to create a device in IBM uh, IoT platform.